Hey, what's up guys? Skylar here today, bound to the charger a little bit. Uh, today we're going to be doing Cordua MacBook Pro upgrades. So I have indeed bought a few little uh, fancy toys for it. So I'm going to more than likely actually be reselling this unit, funny enough, after getting Windows 10 on it fairly successfully, which I'll show you guys that in this video. Today I bought a uh, Silicon Power SSD, 120 gigabyte. This isn't quite like the one in the 15 inch MacBook Pro I did upgrade fairly recently, which looks pretty similar to this one down here. Uh, for some reason, this is plastic, it's not metal, so I don't know, maybe they had to go a little cheaper on that, I don't know. And also, we have a battery, which I've already tested, it does work, as you guys can see, oops, well, it doesn't like to keep its lights on for too long. But this battery indeed works, it's an SK-style battery, just looks like a cheapy Chinese battery with some branding underneath it, to be honest. Camera, why aren't you focusing? Anyway, so basically, um, yep, it's the Core Duo Pro, um, the Core 2 Duo Pro here with the bad GPUs down here, as you can see, it has a few dents in the body, while this one looks basically immaculate for its age. Anyways, so we're going to go on ahead and we are going to start upgrades. And I guess I'll start on the SSD since it's the more involved process. The batteries literally just pop in and you're good to go. So yeah, anyways, I will be back once I have the SSD in the machine. All right, and there we go. So this is what came out of it. This is a 500 gigabyte Seagate drive, 7200 RPM in really good condition. And I think it's a 2010 drive. Yeah, that is a 2010 drive. And then goes the SSD. So... There we go. Um, my next step is I gotta bolt it in and I gotta put the uh, computer's palm rest back in. But really, one thing I was actually just a random, this is a random mention, is look how clean this thing is. And keep in mind, I didn't really clean this thing at all when I got it. The only thing I did do was put fresh thermal paste on the board, which is why the little uh, yellow tape up there is missing. But I am impressed. It's like this thing almost sat in a box most of its life or was like used a little bit and then not much. I don't know. All I know is that this is a really clean unit considering its age. But, anyways, so. SSD is in, so I'll be back once the machine is fully reassembled. All right, and last but not least, we have the battery in. It doesn't not fit perfectly. It doesn't look anywhere close to the original battery, but it works. So that is pretty cool. And there we go. So, and as we can indeed see down here by the MagSafe charger, um, well, there you go. It does indeed charge it. you guys can indeed see here battery does indeed work I'm not sure how well it works let alone the capacity of it but um oh hey look the Windows BIOS is still in there all right so we're going to go on ahead and install Windows 10 32-bit and we'll see if it'll boot Hold on, I'll be back once I'm at a Windows installer. God! Frick! Damn it. Back. Okay. Well, we're gonna try and boot this guy over USB. How about that? I'll be back again. What? What the? This had Windows on it. What? Yeah. Okay. I thought I, I thought I erased that. Okay, surprise, it has Mac OS on it. So we're gonna boot into this. Well, actually, I don't need to boot into this. Ah, do I have to really do that process over again? <sighs> Might have to install seven and then go to 10, but, oh my God. What the, f okay, that's interesting. I don't know, I will be back. Fuck. All right, well, this is just gonna be a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna have to install seven and then 10. <sighs> Whatever, I'll be back. All right, awesome. It was able to boot from one of my, like literally like 3000 Windows uh, 7 DVDs. I have like four of them for some reason. Don't ask, I think one stops working or I lose it, I burn another and yeah, I've got feel like four DVDs like that. Anyways, so we indeed have Windows booting. I don't know why my phone always plays havoc with that little loading bar. There you go, so it's like about a little over three fourths of the way done. Anyway, so I guess I'll be back when I'm at a desktop. Really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do seven run updates and go straight to 10, so yeah. But anyways, I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is actually, I think, quite a bit of a cut. Uh, as you guys can see here, I am indeed at a Windows 7 desktop with all the drivers and stuff, you know, working properly. So that is uh, pretty cool. So, you know, trackpad's working, all that good stuff. 
So basically, uh, right now I'm just going to upgrade to Windows 10 on this guy. Yes, it is capable of doing that with a few software modifications. So yeah, and this is a project I'm working on. Actually, a client wants me to work on this, so SSD upgrade mainly. But anyways, so I'll go to the Windows 10 desktop and I'll report back to you guys once I am there. But I will admit, on this SSD, I already noticed that the install speeds, the boot times, everything on this computer, even the uh, install times for updates were significantly decreased. So that's definitely awesome that this computer's now got an SSD in it. So anyways, I will be back. Alright guys, I'm back from yet another fairly large cut, but as you guys can indeed see here, um, Windows 10 is indeed working very properly, so that's pretty cool. Um, so basically this is actually a fairly large cut, as you guys can see here on Windows 10 I have everything working, trackpad drivers, and all that stuff like that. That was the main one, it was being a retarded person didn't load. So basically I'm on the Windows 10, oh my bad, I almost dropped my phone. Uh, <laughs> Windows 10 Creators Update, so that's pretty much that. Oh, that's going to be displayed a little dim for me. So, also I did want to mention one other thing, of course, is that the battery does indeed work on this guy, so that is, that is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, everything seems to be working pretty much as expected on this guy. So, and I'm so far impressed with the performance, especially considering with the SSD in it now, the Windows menu opens up perfectly, uh, the, or instantly, basically, these open up like ready to click on them basically although they do have to animate so I'd say so far I'm pretty happy with how this went um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this for a week there is now certainly a chance that it has a battery in it and that it has an SSD in it now so if you guys want me to try that I'm more than happy to see how it works on Windows but anyways so yeah that's that, is, uh, that. so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video peace out bye